Good morning, all you awesome humans out there. It's JG coming at you in HD as always. Anybody uh, actually watching this knows this is my first video ever. And uh, if you're already subscribed, I thank you for that. I think I got like a, a whole five or six subscribers. I'm just chilling here on my deck, uh, enjoying the beautiful weather and getting ready for a, a pretty packed weekend. My good buddy Dan's gonna be coming down from LA. We're going to be meeting him down the hill in Phoenix, and we're going to go ahead and go to a baseball game. And then after that, he's actually coming up here to spend a day or two, and we're actually going to be smoking a plethora of meats. We got some fishes, and we got some uh, various sausages, Big Star being a chuck roast, because we're going to be doing some, uh, some poor man's burnt ends. If you don't know what that is, uh, you'll see. It's gonna be super cool. Anytime my buddy Dan comes down, we get crazy on the grill and, and do a lot of smoking. We just actually got a quarter cow from a Plowing Ahead Ranch down in Camp Verde, Arizona. Super awesome folks uh, that raise some really good beef and they raise it really humanely. So just wanted to say hello, intro this video and get you guys welcomed along so we can have a good time with some uh, baseball and barbecue. <laughs> This is gonna be my cameraman. This is Gabe. He's gonna be appearing here and there on JG and HD for sure. We're on the way to get some gas, maybe some snacks, and we are gone. It's baseball time. I just arrived at Dan the Man's hotel. I don't know if Gabriel's gonna focus or not. Maybe. What's up, Dan? What you doing, dog? Okay. Because my mindset is I want to see it closer to Oh. Is this general parking over here? Probably come around that way. Or if you guys want to, we can just go that way. Where do you want to do? You lead the way, man. Nope, keep going. Keep going. Set some things down. Keep going. Alright. No, it's not. Alright. Look at all, everything's a buzz. We're like right down here in the front where we can get hit with a ball. Yeah, on that side. Over this side. Hey guys, uh, we are back at home now and uh, we had a great night at the, the baseball game last night. It was uh, super fun. Thank you, Dan, for the invite, LA. Yes. Is that what you just did? Did yeah, you do it right? I, I, I did the right way. I remember the guy last night yeah. had it backwards. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he, he did. It's like, like if I'm looking at it that way, yeah, that yeah. looks right, but that's not right to you. Yeah, so yeah. so there, there you go. That's why. He was yeah. looking at it for himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was for himself. He was a military guy, though, so we'll yeah, forget it's him. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, we are back home now where we're going to smoke a plethora of meats, just like I said before. And we're going to make a chuck roast and make it into some poor man's burnt ends. Uh, we also got some fishes. Mm -hmm. What kind of fishes we got? Uh, we got some steelhead trout. Okay. And we got some ruby red trout. Okay. Yeah. Good deal. Good deal. And some sausages. Yeah, we got some sausages. Got some sausages of varying kinds. So yes. we'll get to all that. You'll see all that on the grill. So we're just using a real simple uh, rub. We just got some salt, pepper, and garlic from Kinder. Um, Kinders and Pit Boss, none of these people I mentioned are actually like sponsoring this video or anything. We just love these things. I love pit, my Pit Boss and love the seasoning. It's super simple, salt, pepper, and garlic. What more do you need, right? So we're just gonna start out with a pretty generous sprinkling on this guy. Make sure we get it all, we get all that fat. We're not really gonna trim it up, Ultimately, all this fat should render down because we're going to cook it more of a high heat than I would normally do a brisket. Layering of flavor throughout this whole thing. Mm. 
on that outer layer that gets that nice bark. So we're going to be pretty liberal with it. All right, guys, we're out here at the uh, the Pit Boss KC combo. A lot of smokers in the past used to have a charcoal offset. That's the first smoker we started smoking on. Dan, you remember this? I do. Yeah. Now we got this bad boy. It's a pellet grill, and we just want to be able to set it to the right temp and, and get it moving. I already kind of prepped it, put some uh, pecan and some apple wood in, mixed it up, and got a nice mixture in there. So it should be sweet with uh, just the right amount of smokiness, uh, which is good because the wife does not like it too smoky. So, our chuck. Throw that rack right back up so it doesn't have to sit directly on that hot spot. We're going to let it set for two hours. Check it out. It's looking pretty good. Definitely have a good looking bark. And it's looking pretty good. More so than temp. What we're looking for is that a lot of that bark doesn't just kind of like peel away. We got a little more juice than we do bark. so. Check that out. It's looking pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, we'll go ahead and get it inside, get it wrapped up, put it on for about another hour, uh, or at least till the temp comes up to about 2, 205. All right, you guys, we're back inside. We're gonna go ahead and wrap mm -hmm. the brisket. It smells delicious. It smells insane in here. Juice is coming out of it. That's looking pretty good. That's about where we want it. This isn't a brisket, it doesn't have that good fat like a brisket has. Uh, so we're just gonna take a little bit of that beef broth. Where it just creates that little bit of steam. Wrap it up. We got this double foil. It's really nice just to be able to get in and access your, your meat really easily. So we just did it from the sides and then we pulled it in from the other sides. And that's it. you guys everything is off the grill including our poor man's burnt ends made out of a chuck roast and then you got all these too just uh, since we didn't mention it before at, yeah at a no, really good place in la right? yeah we're Where'd not you, gonna we're not gonna go into yeah. not gonna go into that no, they're, they're, they're not sponsored it was good they're not sponsored either <laughs> nobody's sponsoring us we this paid good money episode. for this so <laughs> so let's go ahead and check go. out what we got first over here we this got one. the polish sausage polska kielbasa we got those uh linguisa and mm -hmm. we got those chicken apple sausages right there. You can mm -hmm. smell that apple you cinnamon. You can, every time. Yeah, yeah, every single one of them has a great smell just yeah. coming off there. What else we got here? Uh, this is that chunk of uh, steelhead trout. Mm. Yeah, and then we, here we got the uh, the ruby red trout. I like that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to taste it. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and go into what we were uh, trying to do today. Dan was very excited to do these poor man's burnt ends um, just because he saw an awesome video and then he shared it with me and it was awesome. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. That's actually looking pretty good. Get my pick of uh, something that looks real tender and juicy. Looks like a good one. A nice squish. Oh, it's hot, but it definitely has a nice squish to it. Well, I mean, it looks pretty good. It's got a nice glaze on it. Uh, overall, it's really tender. You can tell just by touching it. Mm. Let's check it out. Do it. I mean, 
It's definitely not brisket, but it's super tender. The flavor's on point. Nice mild smoke like you always get with a pellet grill. Um, it's really good. You want to try one? Sure. Sure. Let's get a, uh, just a little one. Perfect. <laughs> the camera guy wants to try some too. What do you think, Dan? Great. I agree entirely. Yeah. Definitely not brisket. Doesn't have the same type of mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. But um, the flavor, the smoke, it's yeah, it's 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 ready to it's be, worth it. Be on a plate with a yeah. lot more of his friends. There you guys have it. Some poor man's burnt ends, uh, along with a whole plethora of awesome smorgasbord of food. I uh, just want to thank you for stopping by and checking this out. My very first video. If you like what you saw, I'm going to hopefully bring you a lot more of this and other things uh, on JG and HD. Like and subscribe. Say it, Gabriel. Hit that notification bell. There you go. See, he knows this stuff. He's, he's a youngster. I'm like, yeah, we're there. Cool. All right. Thank you. We'll see you again.